Hello everybody, Little Summer here, and I'm back with a renovation series. I did this in the past, and um, I only did one part, and I did Pacer Place, I think is the one that I did. And we are here at Brookside, and I kept the overall shape of it, I think. I get rid of a couple of things. It's very, it looks like a very Victorian style house. And I didn't change up the shape too much. I just made a little bit of changes. And by the time we're done with it, it's it looks like a really pretty far, like rustic farmhouse. And I'm really uh, happy with how this came out. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, but let's see, what can we talk about? I just finished my Build With Me series. And it's probably my favorite build with me that I've done. Um, and everybody seems to enjoy it. Um, but yeah, and this, I think I figured out where I want to upload these houses. I think I'm going to upload them to the Sims file share, which is where I, the, the people, you know, upload um, like custom content on there and whatnot. So I think that's where I'm gonna start uploading my houses at. And this roof was giving me a little bit of an issue. I, um, I laid everything out before I started recording just so I knew what I wanted to do. And I had, I took pictures of what it looked like. And it wasn't, it didn't like that the front of it didn't look how I originally laid it out. And I was trying to figure out what was going on. And so I kept it like this for a while and then I went back to it in a little bit and this roof back here, like the roof in the back was giving me some issues. It kept saying, you know, can't intersect objects. And so I just did this. It's very, very plain, very simple. Um, that peak over the back wall, yeah, it didn't, it, the, the peak didn't stay. Um, this house has enough peaks. Um, and I'm just realizing that I didn't change the stairs and the back porch. But, you know, who's, uh, <laughs> who uses, like, back porches in The Sims 3? Not me. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I don't use in The Sims 3. And that's just one of them. Um, but yeah, I think we're doing up the, the siding right now. Yeah, it looks... The front of it, like, I, I think I'm just now realizing, like, when I'm building it, that it didn't look, um, it didn't look the way that I intended it to, um, so I think after we do, maybe after we do this, at some point, we change it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm really happy with how this house turned out, um, and I'm trying to figure out which house I want to do next. This one was pretty simple to do because I really liked how it looked um, shape-wise. I just wasn't a fan of the exterior and, you know, that god-awful fencing. <laughs> um, I did put a... Uh, like a little side yard. I didn't put anything in it because it was like kind of small for a side yard. But if you guys download this house, um, if you want to put something there, you're more than a you're both here more than welcome to. Oh yeah, I think we we yeah we finished or we fixed my problem that I was having. I think. Um, this isn't original. Like the, those windows that are on the front. That's not how. That's not what I originally. Um. Oh yeah, we okay. We didn't fix it yet, because um, before I could put a little circle window up there on that peak, and now I can't. So I was like, "This is where I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here?" And so then I have to delete the. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we fixed it. I think. Oh no, we still didn't fix it. I just fixed one of them, and I still didn't realize. And there, there we go. <laughs> that that looks a lot better. And off camera, I, th I played around with putting a little room in the roof to like put a peak on there to make it look, make it look a little better, I guess, but I didn't really, 
it wasn't really worth it. I I changed my mind. Um, oh, I'm sorry. My microphone fell down. Okay, so yeah, we're putting some shutters on. And if you download this house, you should get the CC that comes with it. Um, if you don't, I'm, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, I do have a... I have a video on my channel about how to install custom content. Um, and I download a house in that video for you guys. So maybe I'll link that video down below. And then you guys can go check it out. A little self promo. A little self promo. Um, but yeah, we're working on the stairs right now, and uh, all of that. I um, I know I talk about the plum dot a lot, <laughs> but I was watching some of it, and I I was watching a couple of her renovation videos, getting some ideas, and you know, she does a lot of really neat things with layouts and stuff like that. So I was just kind of getting ideas and stuff. Not really like stealing her ideas, but um, I definitely made this house like myself. I didn't, you know, rip it off of anybody, but, um, and I've had this idea for background music for my videos. Um, you know, uh, The Sims 1 had really, really cool, like, music, and... Back before I knew who the Plum Dot was, when I was watching, like, when I, back, back before I started my channel, when I was thinking about starting my channel, I thought about putting that music in the background. And then I started watching the Plum Dot, and she does it. And I'm just hoping that if I start doing it, people won't think that I ripped off of her or anything. Um, but I was thinking about it. But then I got to thinking that I don't want to get copyrighted, like copy striked or anything like that. And so I commented on one of her videos and I asked her if she's ever been copyrighted for that or anything like that. And she said she hasn't yet. So I might toy around with it. I might see about maybe putting that as background music in my videos and some of my, in some, maybe not all of them, maybe some of them. Um, but I hope that I don't get <laughs> copyright striked for it or anything. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, let's get back to the house. Um, yeah, we're, I think we're, yeah, we're, we're putting down, um, we're doing up the outside and putting down trees and stuff. And I tried, I tried my best to place everything with, like, inside with move objects off just to, um, just to make sure that, um, you know, things, just make sure that Sims can get where they need to be. Um, but yeah, we're putting in this, the, the little side yard. Um, I'm really happy with how this house turned out. I know I've said that <laughs> about a million times, but I just, I love this house so much. I might make a Sim and move her in. <laughs> like, that's how much I love this house. Um, putting down, you know, pathways and stuff. But yeah, uh, what, you, what, what house should I do next? Um, I was playing around before I chose this house and with like different houses just to see if I could, you know, get a feel of what I would, how I would renovate it and things like that. And this was probably the easiest one to figure out because I liked the layout so much and I liked how the house was, I, I liked the shape of the house so much. And I was like, oh, this this will be easy. And then I started doing it off, I started laying it out off camera and I was like, oh yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the one I'm going to do for sure. Um, but yeah, I... I fully renovated it. I did it. I did everything last night, and then I did the upstairs a little bit ago. This house started as a one bedroom, one bathroom, but I turned it into a two bedroom, two bathroom. Um, there's a bathroom. There's a bigger bathroom downstairs, and then there's a smaller bathroom upstairs. I didn't 
I didn't decorate those on camera because, you know, they're just bathrooms. <laughs> and um, I renovated or I decorated one of the bedrooms off camera. Um, but I did do a little wrap around with the camera like upstairs whenever we get there to show you guys what it looks like and there will be screenshots at the end of this video um yeah we're just doing up the outside and i didn't put too much stuff around the pond um i didn't do anything with the pond i well, I, I put like you know this stuff in the pond but i didn't mess with it i didn't make it bigger or smaller i thought it was a pretty pond the way it was um I really like the rustic kind of farmhousey feel to this to this house. It was just a little too rustic in the beginning, if you catch my drift. Um, and I thought about putting before and after pictures of what it looked like before, but you can obviously see what the inside looks like right now. <laughs> um, so I just decided to take. Um, new pictures and then the thumbnail will be sh like a half of half of one and then half of the other if that makes any sense i don't think so i don't think it makes any sense um and this flooring that i picked it was actually it was really weird upstairs there's a little square like there was like a couple of squares that had this on it but that was it and it was in like the middle of a room so and I really liked how it looked um, so I kept it and then I put a really pretty masonry like brick brick stuff on the on a couple of the walls accent walls I think is what they're called um, but yeah I laid out everything I've been working on this house in a different save for like a couple days now just trying to lay it everything out and see how and you know just playing around with it to see what it would look like and um, that's why I'm not really struggling too hard laying everything out because I already know how everything is gonna be um, <laughs> usually in my videos usually in my speed builds I have a hard time figuring out layouts and stuff but I think I'm gonna start doing that from now on just laying everything out first off camera and then again on camera it'll take longer but at least you guys won't watch me struggle <laughs> like I usually do um, I think we're getting ready to decorate I didn't recolor hardly anything in this house because um, <laughs> I, I was having a hard time I really because I didn't want a cabinet over the windows and so I, I just wanted a corner cabinet and I couldn't figure out how to do it so if you guys are having a hard time doing that, all you got to do is, I think all I did was move the window over one. And then, yeah, I, I guess moved the window over one. And then I guess messed it up. <laughs> I guess messed it up. Yeah, you just, you, you move the window over and then it'll, and then it'll go back to being a corner cabinet. Because, yeah, I didn't want, um, I didn't want a cabinet over the window because I wanted that pot rack holder thing there um but yeah we are you know decorating and stuff and this house will be available for download on the sims file share it should be if i can figure out how to <laughs> upload it on there um but yeah i can't <laughs> i can't believe i didn't change the stairs and stuff for the back porch but if you guys you know care about the back porch at all you can just do that yourself <laughs> um but yeah how's everybody been i've been okay i um i work at pizza hut again and i'm a delivery driver and super bowl sunday is coming up and so i'm really excited to see how much money i make and yeah life's been life's been pretty good um I don't really know what else t to talk about to talk about um i'm just so in love with this house and i'm really excited to like move one of my sims in <laughs> maybe just a sim and a dog um 
Speaking of dogs, I know I think I think I touched base on this in one of my parts of my Build With Me series, but uh, if you guys know me or have been following me a while, I talk about my dog a lot. Uh, my old my older dog. Um, his name was Thor. He was a boxer, and he passed away recently. And actually, if you look at my YouTube channel, um, the my YouTube banner. At the bottom right, there's a couple of, like, cartoon pictures of a boxer. And that's pretty much what he looks like. That's why I put that there. Um, I just found those, I found those pictures on Google one night when I was trying to make my banner. And I thought, I thought it was perfect. Um, he had, uh, he got sick out of nowhere. He got really sick out of nowhere really fast. And he was eight. He would have been nine this month. And boxers typically don't live very long. They don't live as long as most bo like most um, breeds do, or so I've been told. But that's kind of why I was away for a long while. He passed away back in um, back in September, and I just didn't feel like doing anything. So and the vet office gave me a little tuff of his hair in a vial and they they made a paw print mold of his of his paw and I have that on my desk along with his favorite toy and so yeah that's why I haven't been you know on YouTube for a while um but yeah I finally got back to, I finally got to the place where I really wanted to make videos again and we actually got me and my boyfriend got a new puppy and she's a beagle and her name is Wiggy and she is so cute but she's so ornery and she really likes being underneath blankets with people and she's just so cute and she's really been helping me get through losing my dog losing my other dog um but anyway, that's why I haven't been on YouTube for a while. Also, if you guys were watching the, the speed build at all, um, I was having a hard time finding a, that, that cutting board that I put in the corner and whatnot. And yeah, I didn't, I only, I think I only recolored a couple of things like that coffee table because I wanted it to match, um, the, like I kind of wanted it to be darker like the other things in the room and it's very like I said before it's very rustic and I put an older TV in um, you can you know change it if you want to but I really like it um, it kind of adds to the whole rustic thing and I put a really pretty oh I said <laughs> whoops I didn't cut that part out if you didn't know that's how you save your game when you're building a house in The Sims 3. I can't believe I didn't cut that out. I'm usually pretty good at cutting things out. Um, so yeah, I put a fireplace in and again, I didn't change the color, the color of it because it kind of went with the wall and the flooring really well. And I, and I put that really pretty, the, the grandfather clock there and I changed the color of that picture to match the radio and whatnot. And then we're doing the porch now. Um, yeah, I'm this. <laughs> I'm in love with this house. I'm definitely. I think after I'm done uploading this and everything, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna make. I think I'm gonna move in a family because <laughs> I really love how this turned out. Um, it's very old looking, but new at the same time. It's not as if you like. If you guys seen what it looked like before. Like, everything looked dirty and filthy, and it doesn't look like that anymore. It looks nice now. It still looks rustic and old, but it's not dirty. Oh, excuse me. And right here we're doing... I think it's... It, I think I was... I think I meant for it to look like an entryway. Um, and I really, li I really like how this... How that turned out. Um... Yeah, we see the the bedroom, and 
I really like that, the bed right there. I'm pretty sure it gives high energy and, or it gives high something or other. Um, but yeah, we are, this video is almost done. So I'm going to leave you guys with some music and let me know what you guys think I should decorate next. Like which house should I renovate next? And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.